In this video, I want to go over one again basic skill of factorization in algebra. Before we move on to algebra, so let's use this skill in number. Okay, so most of you should be good in numbers. Suppose you have, you want to add by factorizing. Okay, this is one thing, add by factorizing. Okay, so this is, I don't know whether you have learned this in your schools. But this is a very good skill to learn. Okay, add by factorizing. Okay, so add and subtract by. So let's start with adding. Suppose you have, say, let me think of a number, say 15 plus 24. Okay, you don't want to add, you know, this is how much? This is 39. But we want to add by factorizing. So, well, factors is suppose. How can you write this as a factors in factors? So, well, this is 3 times 5. This is 3 times 5 plus this is how much? This is 3 times 8. Okay, so this is 3 times 5 and this is 3 times 8. So, here the common factor, you've got 3 here and you've got a 3 here. So, you can factor the 3 out and that is the skill that we're going to use in algebra. So, this is 3 bracket you don't write times in algebra so this is 5 plus 8 which is same as writing 3 times 13 and this is 3 times 13 is 39 okay so let me take one more example say this is the first example let me take the second example think of a number say 12 plus 12 plus say 20 12 plus 20 okay so can you think of the largest factor so let me for those who don't know about factors suppose the factors of factors of 12 the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, and the factors of 20 are 1, 2, you don't have 3 as a factor, you've got 4, you've got 5, 10, and 20. So when you're uh, adding by factorizing, you have to think of the largest common factor. So the largest common factor is 4. This is also called the HCF. I don't know whether you learned HCF. HCF stands for the highest common factor. So the highest common factor is 4, 4, 12, and 20. So can we write this as 4 times 3 plus 4 times 5? We know the answer, this is 32, but we want to do this by factorizing. So this is same as saying 4 times 3 plus 8, which is 4 times Four times, oh, I should have not written 8 there. I made a mistake here, so 3 plus 5. So what I've done is, I have factored out the highest common factor, which is 4. And what is not common, you write in the bracket. Okay. So this is 4 times 8, and 4 times 8 is 32. Okay. So we're using the same skill in factorizing algebraic expression, but the only difference is, you can't get a final answer as you, you can only go to this step. Okay, you can't go beyond this. I'll explain what I mean. Okay, so let me uh, take a very simple example. Okay, so if you have, say, 21 minus 7m. Okay, so well, how can you write 21 as, I can write 21 as 7 times 3. And this is 7 times m. This is 7m means 7 times m. And now I have to look at the, the common factor. Okay. You have to write in the highest common factor. So you can factor the 7 out. And you write what is not common inside the bracket. And that's all. You can't do anything further because you don't know what is m. And this is your final answer. 7 bracket 3 minus m. Okay, so let me take one more example. So 16 minus 
16 minus say 20 m 16 minus 20 m so what's the highest common factor we can see 2 is a factor common factor and uh, the highest common factor is 4 so well this is 4 times 4 minus 4 times 5 m this is 4 times 5 m is 20 m so now you can factor this 4 out, which is the highest common factor. So if you write, if you factor the 4 out, you can write inside the bracket what is not common, which is 4 minus 5m. And that's all. You can't simplify this more. And this is factorizing algebraic expression. Okay, so let me take one more example. Say, uh, say, uh, 15a minus uh, 15a minus 18. Okay, so what is common uh, in 15 and 18? The highest common factor is 3. So I can write this as 3 times 5a minus 3 times 6. So the highest common factor is 3. So you factor the 3 out. This is called factorization, which is 5a minus 6. And that's your final answer.